Would it surprise you to learn that Israel have sent a mysterious cargo to the moon that is confirmed as being a concentrated effort to preserve human history? Wait till you hear this. Stunning, yes. Shocking? Absolutely. Why would Israel see the need to preserve human history and what is the contextual record of such documentation that is being sent? They are apparently sending up a time capsule of records from across human history and this is being called the Lunar Library and is said to constitute a civilization backup to help ensure that our distant descendants never lose humanity's collective wisdom as long as they can reach the moon, that is. One of the primary evolutionary challenges that we face is amnesia about our past mistakes and the lack of active countermeasures to repeating them. For the survival of our species, we need to find ways to raise our awareness of what worked and didn't work, and we need to ensure it is shared with the people of the future. All of that content will mean nothing if the physical object doesn't survive. So the ARC Foundation helped develop a super durable data recording technology called Nanofiche for the Lunar Library Disk. It can withstand sustained heat that is 10 times greater than what is experienced on the moon with no damage to the data which is made of nickel because of its extreme durability and modest cost. The Lunar Library is shielded by a protective layer and insulation as well as the structure of the lander itself. All that should help safeguard it from micrometeorites that strike the moon on a regular basis. Even so, it may not have anything like the 6 billion year lifetime that they are targeting. These objects will not survive for a billion years undegregated, but they might be intact and unburied after 10 million years, maybe 50 million years. So significant compared with our past. The beginnings of the far-flung space library are already out there. Of course, starting with cosmic maps about NASA's Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecraft and the golden record affixed to the Voyager probes in the 1970s. By placing an archive of every past and present civilization on the moon, we can now say that civilization itself is on the moon. What do you guys make of this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.